of the Father's love begotten, ere the worlds began to be. He is Alpha and Omega, He the source, the ending be, of the things that are, that have been, and that future years shall see. Evermore and evermore. Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. Merry Christmas. Thank you. This is Morning Prayer for Sunday, January the 5th. It's the second Sunday after Christmas. And of course, it's the eve of the Epiphany. The scripture for this service, Psalm 66 and John chapter 6, verse 41 to 47. O oh, open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, make a joyful noise to God, all you lands. Hallelujah, Psalm 66. Hallelujah, make a joyful noise to God, all you lands. Sing forth the honor of God's name. Make God's praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds through the greatness of your power shall your enemies submit to you. All the earth shall worship you and shall sing to you. They shall sing to your name. Come and see the works of God. God is awesome toward the people of the earth. God turned the sea into dry land, and they went through the flood on foot, and there we rejoiced in our God. God's might rules forever. God's eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. O oh, bless our God, all you peoples, and make the voice of God's praise heard, which holds our souls in life and suffers not our feet to be moved. For you, O oh God, have proved us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net and you laid affliction upon our backs. You have caused enemies to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but you brought us out into a wealthy place. I will go into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay to you my vows, which my lips have uttered, and my mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer to you burnt sacrifices of fatlings with the incense of rams. I will, come, I will offer bullocks with goats. Come and hear all you that fear God, and I will declare what God has done for my life. <clears throat> I cried to you, God, with my mouth, and you were extolled by my tongue. If I have evil in my heart, you will not hear me. But truthfully, you have heard me. You have attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed are you, which have not turned away my prayer, nor taken your mercy from me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise to God, all you lands. Hallelujah. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 6, beginning at verse 41. And then the Jews began to complain about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They were saying, Is not this Jesus the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I have come down from heaven? And Jesus answered them, Do not complain among yourselves. No one can come to me unless drawn by the Father who sent me and I will raise that person up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Very truly, I tell you, whoever believes has eternal life. Here ends the lesson.
And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Defend us, O God, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Hear our praises, O glorious God. Soften our hearts and lead us away from all evil. Heal us of our afflictions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.